jy so there's a line of impact so what are these speeds now u cos theta it will rebound with v cos alpha initial momentum along x axis it will be u sin theta after rebound it will be v sin alpha the surface is rough so then a friction will also act the impulse due to friction and that i'll show it <coughs> towards that why towards left because look at the u sin theta u sin theta will be towards right with respect to ground friction should oppose relative motion so the friction on the ball will act towards right friction should oppose relative motion so therefore the and this friction will act for small duration of time so let, let's go back to already we have discussed now so f equal to mu n f into delta t equal to mu n y into delta t so what is f into delta t will be impulsive friction mu what is n y delta t it's a friction due to normal contact so like this the impulsive friction will be related to the impulse due to normal contact so wherever you see colliding surface rough immediately this should flash for you so there will be a impulsive friction fine so this is a very generalized thing okay let's write the first quotient of restitution formula angle of rebound along line of impact e equal to v cos alpha by u cos theta then impulse momentum equation mu cos theta minus jy equal to minus mv cos alpha or, or this is as usual v cos alpha we can write as u cos theta so this is jy so now what is jx we know jx equal to mu jy mu mu cos theta 1 plus e are able to hear me oh yes sir huh? so okay fine yeah okay let me continue hmm, yeah and uh, now uh, look at this jx equal to so how to calculate that impulsive friction so do, don't try to don't search for sir i'll calculate delta t It's not be this information will not be given in all the numericals. So from from J Y I can calculate from this equation. The equation one, equation two. So from this I'll get the J X impulsive friction. So what is J X? This is the impulsive friction. Okay. After this, uh, now uh, that alpha is unknown. No? so can we determine that so applying impulse momentum equation along x axis mu sin theta minus jx equal to mv sin alpha i know jx here from this i'll substitute i'll get alpha uh, what about v and alpha are unknown because both are unknown i know e u and theta and from this what happen v and alpha v and sin alpha are known squaring and adding these two i'll get the required equation like that v and alpha will be unknown so that v and alpha we can determine by using all this set of equations 1 2 3 4 so is it momentum conserved along x axis the answer is no anyway momentum is not conserved along y axis momentum for what momentum of ball momentum of ball is not conserved along y axis what about along x axis not conserved because you see that an impulse is acting so just impulse momentum equation is what you should apply because everywhere i am writing that one only now why here positive because mv sin alpha is in direction of initial momentum why this jx negative opposite initial momentum 
try to see the signs. So solving one, two, three, four will get the unknown thing. What are unknown things? V and alpha. And now, if you want, you can discuss. Put uh, sir e equal to zero. What is the motion of the ball? Just after impact, it will have. x component of velocity because of friction what pen it will move and it will undergo retardation and finally come to rest so many cases they they ask you after impact also it will move like this again it will go and collide no it is moving in its space it will collide <laughs> like that with every impact there will be change in there will be decrease in momentum along x axis and finally it will come to rest Uh, this again very generalized topic, so questions can come from any corner. Uh, you have to be very careful. Okay, let's take the this one. So let uh, 